time and place will exist. At that moment, a village will sit on the edge of a large metropolitan area, detached. The village will be green and relatively quiet, though cosmopolitan. Roads will wind, trees will sway, though not too far. People of different types will inhabit large wooden boxes, bunkers, tree forts and estates. Some people will grow too tall and some not short enough. Some will sport protruding ribs, others engulfed mounds of flesh. Some will speak foreign languages and some not even their own, though none will be aware of what their native language may be. They will speak with their fingers crossed. They will waste their time in many ways, on parades, on charades, on games and paperwork. One among them will not waste his time, however. He will be a man among mousy creatures. He will be found at the top of a green hill, under a green tree that once held a green apple. His stomach will be that apple's new home. None will know this man of importance as a man of importance, but at some point, likely not until this man has turned to dust and dirt, we will have to tell certain tales about his thoughts, his life. Nothing can stop that.